Yeah, that's right. Listen, I've got to go, hey? Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bye, 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 bye. Hi, everybody. So, these things, marvellous, hey? But they can be a bit of a chain. But behind these things is this. Without this, that's no good. That, obviously, is a double-A battery. It's about 10,000 joules, and we make about 4 billion of those every year and of course they're destined for landfill because there's jack you can do with them what they essentially are is a bit of stainless steel some zinc some manganese dioxide and some carbon it's all they are and they get used and they get thrown away and they're a curse so when it comes to generating an awful lot of people obsess with massive generation it's got to produce kilowatts but that is essential to that and it doesn't use that much of course we're rolling out 5g at the moment and i don't know if anybody knows what 5g is but 5g is essentially an awful lot of little micro receivers they're split into three bands they're about 200 meters apart and they're little wireless transmitters and receivers that use anywhere between 200 milliwatts and 10 watts <laughs> tiny amounts of power. So there is one of the main repeater stations and as you can see it's actually relatively inconspicuous and they're popping up everywhere. And they're popping up everywhere because the distance they can service is also surprisingly small and the number of people they can service is surprisingly small and the amount of energy they use is surprisingly small. So it's taking up this idea of networks of smaller things and this is what we were suggesting in the earlier video when it comes to power because 5g is following that idea through of course with internet of things now this goes to a repeater that is one of the repeater stations it takes the main signal carries a signal forward to one of the base stations which reaches your house now they've been putting these things in nobody's been noticing i mean at the end of the day i suppose it's great because they're going to do away with all those cables but these are popping up like warts and nobody's really seen it that is the end of the chain that services the houses costs something like ten thousand pounds to run 500 meters of electrical cable from one point to another point so in places like this of course that's just undoable so what they do is they put in micro generation stations and with those micro generation stations are batteries and this is the kind of thing i'm talking about on top of this one we've got a solar panel but you also see these with little wind turbines on them this is a speed trap and what it's doing is scavenging energy to run that application with microgeneration, of course, we're coming down to solar or wind. When you think of wind, predominantly, people think of one thing. The chances are that is what you think of. That's the Kent Wind Farm, and it's huge. They're meters high, and they produce megawatts of power. Where those wind turbines work best is, of course, in an area that's uncluttered with a single wind blowing in one direction. And that hardly ever happens when you're looking at somewhere like the top of a lamppost. But there are other ways to collect from the wind. You've got flutter. And this, those flags, are what I'm talking about when it comes to flutter. Well, flutter is exactly what things like the wind bar and the wind belt are using. And it's also what we used in the barleycorn generator. The barleycorn generator was actually surprisingly good, but it waved backwards and forwards. And several people noticed this and said, hey Rob, why don't you get back out there and have a look at how things really behave? I thought, brilliant idea. Why not refer to nature? And that is what we're looking for. In this gentle wind, we can see this stuff. It's going that way, it's going that way, and returning back. It's bobbing backwards and forwards and side to side in gentle breezes. Oh, lessons learnt. Let's have a look at Tinkercad. And this is what I came up with. Now, as per usual, these Tinkercad files can be found by following the link in the description, and they are everybody to make use of in their public domain. Now, it comes down to only four bits, and once they're printed, 
this is what they're like. On this bit, it's been measured for that coil. So if you're using a slightly different coil, you might want to redo those measurements. But this is a coil from a microwave oven. And the microwave oven coil fits on there. This bar fits onto the top there in the two little slots. In there it goes a magnet, one centimeter by five millimeters, and that snaps in place on the ball there. This bit is the change. That bit actually goes on there like that. There's a hole for the wire. And then we put a bit of four millimeter flexible uh, fiberglass bar, although it has been suggested bamboo, which I really like. And that goes on top there. This bit catches the wind from lots of directions and will help it bob around. So what we need to do is glue that together. Okay, I'm going to wobble it around and we'll see if you can see this LED light. Uh, it lights, I've seen it light, but let's see if you can see it light. There you go, I'm not sure if you're seeing that or not, but it lights the LED, which means it's producing about a milliamp or so, a couple of volts. So, not a huge amount of power. It's certainly not going to light up the Empire State Building enter anytime soon. But for an energy scavenger, for some of these very low watt applications that we've been talking about in this video, there are distinct possibilities here. Okay, now we need to see if the wind will wobble it. I'm not sure what the point of the LED is for you because it's a bright sunny day. But I've planted it in this cow parsley. It's bobbing away. We saw that it generates when it does that. Look at that. That's beautiful. <laughs> it works! My genius! <laughs> <laughs> look at it! Oh, look at my, that go! That, that's amazing, okay? My creature, she lives! <laughs> Mate, that is, that is awesome! Yeah, yeah, yeah. seriously! Yeah, it's, it's busy generating away. Gently doing the job. <laughs> it acts just like the cow parcel. <laughs> look at that! That is awesome! It's lighting this LED! <laughs> so when thinking about generation, don't only think about mega generation for countries, kilo generation for your own house, there's also micro generation where you can replace batteries by using devices that actually have surprisingly little power because they're powering things that have surprisingly low power needs. When looking at this sort of stuff, it isn't one answer to fit all problems. There's a whole range of problems. So there's a whole range of answers. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching and please do remember to like and subscribe.